SL1, password one. Alright. Alright, cool. So King Louie in the chat's asking who are these players. Recroll is an ex Brew War Pro who turned poker champion. And in fact, if you look him up on Wikipedia, you can see that he's won half a million dollars. When we say pro, and, we mean he literally played on TV, right? Or was in a team yeah, anyway? Yeah. Well, I, think, I don't know I don't if, know if he was televised. He did not, he did not literally play on TV. That's not very much of an achievement. He might have sat on top he of a TV in a to play. broadcast match. But he might he might have sat on a TV like the team houses like they have like you know they could have TVs lying around that you sit on. He could have sat on a TV. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I yes. can see that. So I've linked it's much his, less of an achievement though, so people can see. Yeah. Um, but FYI, quick little side note. Now this one's not on Wikipedia. He he has won over about four hundred thousand dollars in uh, in poker. So he he bets for money. I have won I think a hundred dollars off of this guy. That makes me better than a poker player who has won almost half a million dollars. Well, just isn't, FYI. Isn't so it, I may have lost the 2-0 uh, to him earlier, but I have the moral victory of having won money off the roll. Isn't it like if you meet him in person, you get it? Well, yeah, our, our agreement is a gentleman's agreement where it's payable upon a handshake. Okay, all right. So, yeah. So, uh, moving into Rackroll vs. Mizu, it's actually first match going to be Andromeda. Um, I'm wondering, I think Mizu probably would have hosted this, right? Like... Um, I think Mizu and Rekrol actually played before um, Rekrol and I played. Okay. So Rekrol and Mizu played, then he played me, and then uh, Mizu and I played. We all we did our matches in like an hour after the tournament was announced. So all of these are very very close together. He's um, I think they are both good to go. I think we can get this all right, started. Cool. Yeah. Let's get moving into the game. Rekrol against Mizu. 400 APM against $400,000. Who will win? I don't know. Well, I um, Mizu, Mizu is the purple Terran in the bottom left. And Rekrol is the teal Terran in the bottom right. And I believe... Is Rekrol just race picking? I um, think he does, yeah. I think he, yeah, I think he does. Actually, no, I believe it was okay. random. I think he random, he random twice and he got Protoss twice versus mm -hmm. me. Uh, I think he's still random. Was he calling so, out the race, or was he just uh, doing like full I don't random? Think he was. Right. I, I, I gotta, I, I actually don't remember completely, so don't, uh, don't call me on that. But Tross is saying rec random him as well. I think it was complete random, without announcing. All right, so we're actually going to see, yeah, amateur TVT right now with Mizu. So in fairness, Mizu's TVT is pretty strong. I mean, it's probably his strongest matchup. Yeah, Tross says he didn't race call either. I, I think that I, I, I vividly remember him going random, but I don't remember if he race called or not. And I guess it's true he didn't. So honestly, I think this is like a huge advantage for Rackroll because, like, when you think about it, if you're like going in to play a TVT, you've got to be like mentally prepared for that shit. Like, it's it's <laughs> like an investment of time, energy, like mental fortitude, and like Rackroll right now, he knows that it's TVT. He's got that in his brain. He knows what's what's coming up for the next, you know, three or four hours. But Mizu, like, he has no idea. He's like, he's just going, oh yeah, you know, it could be Zerg. I could, you know, fight against Zerg. Seems, but no, no, you're gonna put tanks in lines. They'll shoot other tanks also in lines. You'll scan oh. and they'll shoot, but other tanks won't shoot. But they'll shoot afterwards. Like, it's just that that's gonna happen. And I mean, he doesn't know it. And, and if you're not, yeah, if you're not prepared for the long haul of a TVT, but uh, I'm thinking a rectal TVT, not very much of a long haul. I mean, based on him, on knowing him, I, I don't, I don't expect to see standard play out of him. But I haven't actually judging seen by Mizu's previous no. TVTs, they're not long drawn out affairs either. Mizu actually <laughs> finished his gas before he started his racks. That's and he has like eight, eight. How does he have 400, 540 APM now? But he has like seven SCVs. I don't. He's probably typing a novel about how he's losing this match already. <laughs> it's some really, it's just impressive spam. Like it's literally like, like pro gamer spam. What is his APM right now? Right now, uh, 430, 440. With 440 APM, he had an SCV sitting beside his minerals, not doing anything for a good 17 <laughs> I seconds. I honestly don't know what he does with it. I think he just like presses a button constantly, I mean, maybe just like one, and he just smashes one no, down. He just, he just holds down the one key. Really? I'm, I, I was <laughs> hoping he like actually that. pressed it, because like it'd be disappointing if it was just a hold down spam. I don't think hold down... does hold down count? Wait, I, I think he tricked Rekrol, because Rekrol scouted cross map, 
saw Mizu's no, uh, SCV and now he's following it for some reason. Unless it's on attack command. Maybe. So, Recro hasn't like scouted. Saying, Mizu has just out bluffed yeah. uh, half a million dollar winning poker oh, yeah. Brutal. Very impressed. And he probably has a higher APM as well. Mizu's factory is a little bit ahead as well. Unfortunately, his uh, SCV <laughs> count is probably about like and 8 behind. And we know he has a lot of gas. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, no, he actually has less gas than Recruel. He's Wait. only mining one SCV on gas. Oh, so. Recruel's only got, yeah, one SCV on gas, that's right. Okay, so basically Mizu got his gas ridiculously early and then didn't mine it properly, so now he's behind on gas in a TVT. His SCVs are unionized, and none of the other ones were trained for gas. There's like a, there's like a like bin truck outside my house, good. by the way, so if you can hear that, just pretend that it's not there, or... I don't know. Bin trucks are like the bane of my existence. When I used to like sleep at really bad hours, like I'd be like going to bed at like six, and then like the bin truck comes past at like seven, and it's really loud, and it goes through the whole street, and it like echoes down oh, the whole man. street, and so there's just like half hour period of the day where you just can't sleep, and it feels like it goes forever. It's like when but the neighbors are playing loud I have, music. I have the once. exact same thing, except it's you know one of those big like metal, like massive bins. Uh, and this truck comes along at about like 6 a.m. every morning and just rattles it around and throws it everywhere. And I'm on the first floor, like right beside it. So it's fantastic. Oh, yeah. It's so fantastic. It uses a, as an alarm. All right, so Recruel's actually going drops here. Um, maybe? Or is he going Valkyries? I thought he was going to expand. I mean, he was only he only had one SCV on gas. And Wait, he... am I mixing up the players? What? No, no, that was Mizu. Oh, okay, wait, Mizu is purple? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, Mizu is now awesome. sending out his first vulture. He built it about 10 minutes ago, but it's on the way now. <laughs> no, he, had to, he had to chase down the SCV at his base. That was really important. Unfortunately, going up a ramp against Marines with a vulture, unless you're, like, fantasy. I can say fantasy instead of flash now. That's the best part of, uh, of flash fantastic. being a terrible failure at Brood War now. Um, we can now just make fun of him and, and replace everything we said about him with fantasy. Exactly. Fantasy is now the reigning best Terran yeah. for ever and ever. Flash so fans can enjoy that. Recruel's going to do some sort of tank Goliath drop right now, which is kind of weird. But I think Mizu is going race. Abuse that ledge. <clears throat> He's got the uh, the racks on it. He's just uh, going to yeah. abuse the ledge about over the natural. But oh, the natural is moving out too. Interesting. So Mizu is expanding like pretty ahead here. So if he can somehow not die to this uh, push, which I mean, it's going to be tough considering he only has vultures and, and he doesn't Ruckle, have lines yet. Ruckle's going to He's have goliaths and tanks on a ledge uh, with siege mode. I'm pretty sure. So, and Mizu may have a wraith. He does have a starport. He hasn't actually built anything from it yet, but you know he could make oh. a wraith. He is, it seems like he does have the vulture patrol micro down. Like it's as though, for heartbeats at a time, he knows exactly what to do with his actions, and then immediately <laughs> gets to macro. That's fair uh, enough. I, I think that's like micro too. Yeah, and back in his base, he's watching his ledge as well. So yeah, he's probably gonna drop that ledge well, over the natural. He's just going into the main. Oh wow! Yeah. there he goes. Just with the glass, the, right the tank is staying outside. So the glass, I guess, is just gonna like walk in and kill SCVs, which is a little bit weird. Oh, is he gonna wait? Oh no, he's oh, going for no, it. No, he's gonna drop with the marines in the tank on the ledge now. Aha! Uh -huh, very smart. Oh man, Recruel's being brutal. Like. This is he's our, yeah, he's not, he's definitely not pulling punches. Jesus this Christ. Is, this like, is abuse of his hell. This is pretty oh man. straightforward, that goal. Yeah. So he's killed most of the SCVs. They're like glitching around in panic, and he's just going to bring everything in. He doesn't even need to use the ledge here. He's just kind of <laughs> yeah. appeared and, throat. yeah. Man. Do you suppose Mizu's APM is just what happens when you get a lot of tears in your keyboard? <laughs> <laughs> and he's trying to like <laughs> wash them out. So he has like 17 supply. What's his APM right now? 346. Yeah. My God. What's he doing? Oh wait, here we go. He's <laughs> moving an army, but unfortunately, it's like half the size of Recruits, and he does have siege mode though. Um, so if he can kind of like hold that position and not just get killed, you know, and you know, not then die to everything else that could be killing. the SCVs at once. Yeah, something like that. I don't know. He might, Reckle might just leave now. Oh no, he's going for it. <laughs> I don't say leave, that I mean leave the base. Down. Not the game. I guess. We've got about 10 seconds on it. Oh my well, god. I don't understand Mine. this. Is make break supply. Right oh, it's gone. It was a valiant Mizu effort. Mizu has 
16 supply and 350-ish APM. That's like... What's he I'm, doing? I'm trying to work it out. That's I'm still not sure what he's controlling. It's he could he could be issuing. Is there a back door? <laughs> it's Andromeda. I I don't believe that for a minute. Not for a minute. He's played this map before. There's oh no God. way he doesn't know. <laughs> it's not a back door. Come on, Mizu. Come on. Oh my God, that's like the weakest excuse. Yeah. I mean, just, I'm, I'm I'm a Mizu fan. And if you're a Mizu I know, fan, yeah, like, I'm, I'm, I'm down with Mizu, it's just, you can't make that excuse. No, it's not that. Yeah. <laughs> if you're a Mizu fan, you want to believe that he is dumb enough <laughs> to think that there is a back door on this map. <laughs> what is Jalhei? Can any Korean translators around? I have, yeah. <laughs> oh man, so... We need to get our, our translator, get Milkus on board here or something, to translate for Mizu? Yeah, so basically, uh, I mean, Mizu, I mean, obviously it would have been fine if it wasn't for the back door in that map, so, I mean, that's all good. Yeah, Andromeda is pretty imbalanced with that back door. Oh yeah, I totally. Do. The, the back door obviously being a shuttle, but that's cool.